Hello, welcome to the Royal College of Organists A to Z of the Organ. Today's letter is the letter L, L for live looping. Now of course the looping of musical ideas is not new in music written for the organ. From the repetitive bass lines found in Chaconas of the Baroque period by composers such as Buxtehude and Bach, through to the 20th century with minimalist repertoire by composers such as Philip Glass. Live looping takes these principles of repetition in a slightly different direction, where motivic development is driven by the layering of short phrases on top of each other. These short musical phrases could be melodic or rhythmic or even just sounds themselves. So very simply recording and overdubbing my own solo voice there to create a chord effect with a, a breath sound on an electronic slicer effect to give a percussive feel to that short little snippet there. Live looping is a technique which allows musicians to record these snippets of what we are playing to form a repetitive loop or phrase in real time and this kind of Keeping in touch with the real-time spontaneity is a real gift when working with live looping. Live looping has grown as a performance practice alongside developments in music technology. The earliest experiments in the mid-20th century used um, real tape film, cutting it, splicing it back together to explore looping techniques. Today there's a broad range of possibilities with dedicated hardware such as this loop station I'm using today as well as software running on a computer, perhaps in combination with MIDI controllers in order to make a live performance a little more comfortable. Live looping is often associated with electronic music genres such as dance music or hip hop and indeed beatboxing championships all over the world have working with live looping as a key component of competitions. Live looping is a great part of the organist's toolkit, however, especially when working with smaller instruments. It really does extend the possibilities when working with instruments such as this beautiful but one manual sour organ here. I'd like to perform for you a short piece um, based on the famous German hymn tune, Wer nur den lieben Gott lässt Balten. And what I'm going to do is record just two layers as my accompaniment, and over the top of which I'll then play the solo, which is the hymn tune, which is very well known. My microphone in this case is placed inside the instrument, and that means that I have to be quite careful about which stops to choose. For the accompaniment, I'm going to be choosing mainly the flutes that live in the body of the instrument, and for the solo melody towards the end, I'm going to be using these principles, speaking at the front of the instrument here. The sound comes in, the sound source here, to the loop station, and then goes out again to a speaker setup which I have here on the gallery beneath me. So, where not in even God, let's go.
Thank you for joining me and look out for our next film in the A to Z of the Auburn series, The Letter M.